So now the exhale and the dropping of the spine stops the horse. I didn't pull that time. Now as I've raised the bar, the horse wants to go behind the bit. That's why I know it's been overtrained. He thinks that's the way to get rid of it. This is the thing about side passing onto a log. You don't do this with a colt. Here's the, the fit that you don't want to have happen. That's why you just go do what you do. I don't care. Hind quarter is braced. See it? There's a, there's a try. It's nothing personal, it's just what horses do. And on welfare. Get it? Well, if you want more horse, then you're going to ask for more. He don't like being asked for more. He's had it made. You guys see the release? This is a horse in South Carriage. See the rain get loose? I just keep releasing. Now, he's got it over himself. He's not happy. And you know, I feel terrible, but he hasn't had to work for a living for quite a while. Now, just out of curiosity, say, do you want what I'm doing? Do you want more? Or do you, are you happy with what you got? Yeah, for you personally to go riding. Oh, yeah, I want to. Okay. I have to ask, because some people say, hell no, I like him just like he is, and I don't blame you if you do. Into pressure. How dare you is what he's saying. I don't do this stuff. Well, as a matter of fact, you do. See, he can be handy, but he has to be in collection. Now, let me show you. When I go past you, I'm going to show you how not to ride. Where's my partner at? The young man with the pitiful posture. There he is. Okay, here's how you don't ride. Okay, here's how you do ride. See how I turn my toe out? My spur isn't on the horse, but it's coming. I'm telling the horse, here it comes. Now, it's nothing personal, horse, but when I roll my calf, you need to move.
watch my hand, my left hand. As soon as he makes it, I let go, okay? But if you try to stop him up here, he's gonna throw his head up. I keep my hand low, because it's math. It's a geometry, it's an angle. There. Now I'm overdoing it just to show you where you can go. But he's, he's fine, he, I picked the life up in him. Now, the skeleton. Watch my left hand. High as you can sit, you're balanced. Then you can get your horse accurate. You see what I'm getting at? You get up here, get some really good posture and get up high. Now you can ride your horse through your seat bones. If you get down here or you're stealing a ride, it doesn't work. But you see him turning off my body? So he put it together, he knows it. So if he's half Frisian and quarter, then he should be twice his size. So the pasture had nothing in it. All he had to eat was scenery. Now see, he hasn't changed his mind yet. He's still in the mind of like, what, what are you gonna do? And I'm just telling him through my body, I'm not gonna do anything. If I pick those reins up, I'll do something. That's what I'm trying to convince him of. So you'll get a calmer horse if you can set this up. Yeah. And remember, hang him, hang him a lot. Now we'll go to work. So what we have is an old colt. Now, this is... You stay right there where you are. You guys, I, I want to explain to you what I'm going to do with this horse. Now, what's he, 13, I think, or something? Yeah. Okay, he's 13, he's a colt. Green is a gourd. Okay, he's stuck as far as letting go with his four corners. Left front, right front, right left. He, he, he gets stuck with his feet. So what I want you to notice, I'm gonna do it right out there. 
and you've probably seen on my videos, but I'm going to ask for the right, 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 right. And oh, by the way, rock onto your hindquarter and step out. I'm going to get him walking like a banana, and then I'm going to get him to turn a 180. And that's going to show him that he can actually let go. In his brain, everything is just straightforward. That's all he knows, which is what he's been doing for his life. So when you, when you watch this, if I'm going to the right, watch my left hand. That's the one that's going to make this happen. I'll support it. I'll support my left hand with my left foot. There's the head I was talking about. I'm giving it back. You notice my left hand is in neutral. He's not ready. I'm pushing out with my inside leg to get his rib out. He's all straight forward like a two by eight. All right, now he's getting round. So now my left hand pulls back and I move the horse over. It actually scared him to come in with that leg. Well, he's got to get over that. Left, left, now my right hand is going to shift the weight back and my right leg will follow through until the left front foot makes it. Now as soon as you put the pressure on him, he starts to fall apart. So I'll get him good about this. Now I talked about this before, it's a right circle. My right rein is shorter than my left rein. So if you've got a horse that's touchy and you're trying to get them schooled, this is what you can do if you feel like you need it. If they're going to squirt out money, you just grab the saddle horn. Now I'm going to pick up the left rein and put it into action. He's stuck. There. I'm going to set it up again and exhale as I move. Right hand, shift. That's getting better. His brain's still concentrating on his head. Now you got to know what the touchy part is. My legs are hitting his legs and that's what's making him jump. Well, that's going to happen when a horse like this gets rode, if you got any legs at all. Oh, and I want to... So there's no doubt about this one rain stop. I want to, I want to show you. I'm going to shut him down in there. Right now. See how the front feet are staying right there? I'm giving it. I'm taking I'm giving. I'm taking and I'm giving. I'm taking and I'm giving. That's how you shut him down. Because he can run 35 miles an hour with his head poked at you. Just know that. Now he's all bothered. And when you're ready, when you're talking about not wanting to lope and he just kicks out, what you do is you trot him with your partner. You trot, 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 and then your partner just lopes and he'll go right with it. Yeah. Then, then you just pat him on the neck. Don't try to make it happen. Let it happen. Let another horse do it for you. So this is a really green horse, period. Now, if I slap this horse in the leg with my foot, everything, everything will fall completely apart. He'll absolutely go out, lose his mind. So when you ride him, you got to stay centered. Now, Richard and I were talking about this. If this was my horse, it would get roped. But roping a horse is a whole other chapter. And you haven't seen it. I ain't got time to do it, but I'm just telling you, if you rope him, you're going to make him gentle.
Now you've never worn spurs on this horse, correct? So in the, in the, this is not a cop out, it's just a fact. In the young green horse world, you've got 25% of your horse because the other 75 hasn't been roped. And I don't want to cop out on you, but if I'd rope this horse, it would be twice as gentle. So just know that. This is the horse I would break to hobbles, rope it, and lay it down all the same day. Yeah, he's 13, he's not two, he can take it. He needs to be going through the tunnel. See, he thinks there's a lot to be worried about, and all you got to do is show him that it isn't. But the, the concern I have, and I know you're a good rider, is that that reactive thing of it, like him jumping. Because you make a mistake and hit him in the leg, he's going to jump sideways six feet. Well, as long as you know that, you're fine. Now watch his right ear. Just a second. I'm real big on watching the ears of a horse because the, it's, it's the pupil of the eye. Now see, I've got half a horse, half a horse, half a horse. There, I've got the whole horse. The eye was looking at something over there. Two separate brains, get it? So then when both ears are back, now he's actually listening to me. Okay, so when you, as a trainer, you sit there and you know in your heart, he's off looking. You pick up the rein, the ear comes back, now you got him, you can teach him something. But as long as that one ear stays forward, he's, half his brain is looking somewhere else. And that's what horses do, they're, they're a prey animal. So don't get discouraged if you don't have them in the palm of your hand, but that's right there is when you know they're thinking of you. So it's just something you gotta know, and he's had a whole lot of years of his own agenda. with my skeleton. I'm gonna offer him a left turn. Right leg. See how my hands are quiet? Now I'm gonna offer a right turn. Left leg, left leg, left leg, bump. Left turn, bump. Whenever I say bump, it means I'm bending the, I'm saying, excuse me, I need you to go this way. Right turn. Bump, opening the shoulder, looking at the tail, sharper turn. See, he's listening to my skeleton. I'm helping him with the my aids or my hand, but he's going to learn pretty soon. He doesn't need this. He just needs to listen to your body. So I'm going to ride down the fence, and then I'm going to look to the right. Straight ahead, I look to the right. Now I look deeper to the right. Now I stop. Now I ask him to walk backwards. We've already been here, horse. Thank you. Back up on a loose rein. Thank you so much. Walk backwards. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. So you believe me when I tell you about the skeleton, correct? It's, it's what you're watching. Okay, if you can convert a horse over to your skeleton, it's that fewer times you have to pull on their mouth. There's only so many pulls in a horse. So now as I'm doing it saying, excuse me, 
and then I'm going to look to the right, follow through with my leg, and say, you need to turn. I don't care if the gate's over there. You need to turn. Turn. Thank you so much. Turn again. You want to go to the gate, doesn't matter. Thank you so much. Left. How quiet can I keep my hands? Right? See where the gate is down there? So the right turn is going to be sticky because the horse's brain is over there. Okay, I'm going to back it up, not with my hand by pulling. I'm going to back it up with my leg by kicking. Thank you so much. See what I'm getting at? No matter how cool you think you are, they know where the gate is. That's what they like to eat and they like to sleep. They're not that big on humans. Left leg. Left turn. Bueno? Questions? Next! Maybe you guys already saw this. Here's the middle of the rain. Dead even, right? Right circle. One hand width apart. See it? Now, here's center. Skip center and go one hand's worth. Now you got a left circle. See what I'm getting at? So now you're going to the left and you want to go to the right. Don't grab it here, grab it down here, and now you got your right circle. Now when I pull back, I don't use my left hand because this rein is going to come tight. Straight back. Straight back. See the outside rein? Pow. Now I get off-centered the other way. It's just math. Tight rein is what you want to watch. I'm going to do it when I get right next to you. Okay, left shoulder, right rein. Horse turns on the hind quarter. Okay? Those are the big deals you got to get going. Now, a serpentine. Boom. Looking. Left rein. Okay? You're just going to help bend this horse. Now, this is a perfect classic situation on a horse. What's going to happen is you do this going out along the river, wherever you go. Never, ever do this coming home. Because their brain is gone as soon as you turn around. So don't get in a fight with them, get it? Make him walk down the trail like a drunk. Don't incorporate a whole lot. Don't make it real hard. Later on, you're going to add more leg. You're going to use your leg, but you're going to add more leg for a yield and all that stuff we were doing. Like, you, you nailed it. He's too stiff. So you're going to get him limbered up going away from home. Now, when you feel good inside, I'm going to show you what you're going to do coming home. And this, this is what lightens up the front end. Stay right there. I'll go down here and then I'll be coming home. This is me going out. Now, here's me walking home. I'm going to pick up on the horse. Move the hind quarter over, across, and then let go. Pick up on the horse, reach back with my left foot, bring the rear end around, right foot on, let the horse go. That's going to get him throwing his front end towards home. Okay, but first you got to get this serpentine thing going. Okay. Questions? I, Next! <laughs> Now himself, he's wanting to see side passing and disengaging the hindquarter. Of course he is. Now we got to get this backup thing going first.
So part of your homework is you ride him down the arena to that corner and then back him to the gate. And then ride him up to that corner and back him to the gate. Ten times. Over time, he's going to figure it out because it's a habit. Now this is only, I'm not talking about all the horses. I'm telling him about this horse. And there's a fine line between training and drilling. You need to drill him so that one of those times he walks down there, it's going to dawn on him what he's going to do next, and he's going to walk backwards. That's the way to show him because he's cold jawed. I, I'll just be pulling for days. But you go down there and do that exercise and you'll get him, okay? Because, I mean, this is just ridiculous. And remember, he hasn't connected my hands to his feet. That's the problem. All he knows is I'm pulling on his mouth, so he pushes into my hands. I told you this morning, if you can get a horse to walk backwards intentionally, you can pretty much do anything with a horse. There's a change. Now, he's older, so I'm walking right towards the gate. Two-year-old colt, you wouldn't do that. Older horse, you make them think they're leaving every time. There, there's a change, see it? You're never gonna get any real accuracy unless you have some level of collection. There. So you get with that exercise, right? See how I keep giving the rein back? Now here's the way I look at this. It's not about side passing. It's about how soon can I give him the rein and he still goes sideways. Side passing's a given. That's the way I want you to think about this. They should do it on a loose rein without your hands moving. The right ear will keep looking where he's going. He's more worried about the bit than he is where I'm asking him to do. Got to get his brain back. There. Just thinking of my hands. My right bone is pushing down. Forward, hind quarter. Side pass, side pass, side pass. Did I mention side pass? All this is in him saying, I don't want to do this anymore. It's very simple. I'm asking. Because I'm a fair leader, watch my foot. Here it comes. That's what I'm telling the horse. Here it comes. You need to yield. Thank you so much. As soon as you yield, I'll take my foot off. Leaning over the dash. Hind quarter moves over. Left ear, quit worrying about me. Look where you're going. Leaning. Side pass. Every time, horse. This is not a colt. He doesn't get a whole bunch of slack. Side pass. Get over it. He thinks he can bowl through my hands and just leave, see? There. Every time, horse. Every time. I'm working on my hands more than I am the feet. All I gotta do is turn my body and he'll move his feet.
Now the number one thing this horse needs is to trot outside. L lots. That was rude and unacceptable. Trot outside is the number one thing. Now, I'm literally lifting it off the ground. This has nothing to do with collection. Putting its hind feet under itself. So. When I make the turn down there, I'll show you why. I'm going to do it right here when I go around this way. Now, what I need you to understand what I'm doing is I'm dropping a rein and I'm picking up the front end with two hands. And it's sticking the horse's butt in the dirt. So then I'll have two hands and I'll and raise a hand and the horse will understand it. That's why the halter. I don't want to bang a horse with a bosal. Mm. I'm going to try to offer less. It's, it's instantaneous. See how I'm putting it on the hindquarter? It gets it. This horse, it's, it's been too much, too much riding. You need to get outside. It's wadded up. That's why it's resentful. There's your stop. All right, you've, you've got really good ability with a horse. I just want to show you those pieces of the puzzle, okay? Now, you guys got to know that you don't bang a horse with a hackamore. It's a soft rope halter, get it? A hackamore is a bluff, so you don't want to ruin that and lose it. That's why very few people ride in a hackamore, because they, they, they lose it, they blow through it. Well, you've done a really good job on this horse. Now I'm going to barely raise my hand this time and exhale and sit down and see if it'll stop. Now the collection will come later on through a hackamore, they collect themselves, you don't have to do it. I'll show you why, watch. Bump, 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 there. Everything is here on this horse. Everything is here, this is a really, really nice horse. Bump, bump, right leg, and ask, right front needs to break loose. You're fine, break loose, right front. Break loose, right front. There. Do you see what happened? I'm telling you, they can get stuck on one foot, and that's just what this horse did. Left. 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 I need the left front to go out and back. Left. Stuck. Stuck. Stuck, 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 bam. That's called footfall. You got to know where the foot is. Please understand that that horse didn't move its front feet because it was braced. It said, hell with you, I'm not moving it. It's not a fluke. It's on purpose. Well, that's what it did. So you saw what I did. 
as soon as it made a boom. For a horse, a colt, to do it correctly, it has to step out and back. Out is not acceptable. Out and back so the next foot will go past it. But you've got a lot of good stuff going here. I ride all my colts for three weeks in a halter outside. Right front, left hand, right front. There. Okay, that's called the Jordan Valley Hop. It's a deal in Oregon. Buckaroos like to get them to hop in the front. Don't ask me why. I'm in my arena, incidentally. Right hand shifts the weight. Left front. Left front. Left front. Left front. Left front. See what I mean, you guys? It's an actual brace in a horse. It's no big deal. But please believe me when I tell you they can brace up on one foot. They can do it. Now the horse has a choice to make. Yield to pressure or get more pressure. Left hand. Bingo. See it? You gotta know where footfall is. Now just for the sake of the colt riding world, the head is turned to the outside. It's already told me, I'm braced. See it? That jaw, it's already telling me, hell with you. If I can make that jaw disappear, it'll be prepared to turn. I'll show you when. See the jaw? Jaw. There, jaw, right hand. I can't ask it to turn until that jaw lets go. Get it? The jaw needs to go to my right. And this is, this is part of the braces that have been built up. Inside leg, keeping it round. Right leg off. Can't do it. There. I'm asking, horse, you can do it. Left front. Left front. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're fine. Right front. Thank you so much. Left front. Bingo. You just did it. You're done. Way to go. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Now what happens to a colt after that move there? And their brain are going, is that it? Oh, well, that was it, that's all. What you've got is a, is a bend in the neck. You guys can't see it, but there's a brace right here. It's the release, remember that. Just out riding on the trail. Drift, bump. This vertebrae is gonna turn like this. There's a change. There's a change. Can you see it from there? I don't know if you can. Yeah. The skull is actually turning. That's what we need. There, there's a change. To the right. Now I'm just gonna follow in with my left foot. I'm saying excuse me. Thank you so much. Brace is going away. Right hand, left front. Left front, left front, thank you so much. See how it works? Okay, the horse is wadded up and it's getting to be resentful. You trot outside and trot outside. And then three rides from now, you might say, hey, would you mind putting your head over there? And you're going down a two track road. You start doing this and you start pushing with your leg and he's gonna go over to the other track. Then you just keep walking away from home. You put your other leg on. You start saying, would you mind moving over? Thank you so much. 
You're fine. You don't need to go into pressure. Now watch the horse change its mind. The body needs to go to my right. Now, you got to know that when I got the eye, I got the hip. You see the right hind foot move over? That's a start. It's a colt. We want to avoid resentment. This is the most important ride of the day, you guys. Is any questions? You understand what I'm talking about? This horse has, has had too much training. Now you just trot outside, enjoy it, and it'll relax. Then you can start teaching something. It'll be willing to do it instead of contesting you. Bueno?